You know me. Man, I can't even do it, man. I can't even do it, man. What have we been watching in these preseason games, man? What are we watching? I don't even know anymore, man. These hits and these tackles, they throwing flags on everything. You know what I'm saying? They talking about, oh, your face hit the hit the uh, receiver. That's, that's, a, that's a flag. Oh, you hit them too hard, man. They want you to whip your head back when you attack. Whip back, whip, give yourself whiplash when you're making a tackle, man. They taking a football out of football, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm starting to agree with... You know what I'm saying? The Viking safety, they had the hat on talking about make football violent again. You know what I'm saying? Because at this point in the game, man, it's, it's a shame, man. It is, I don't even know what I'm watching anymore. I don't even know what I'm watching. Like, if I understand safety. I do get it. But in the same sense, you go too far. You know what I'm saying? You, you can't ever make football truly safe. It's a collision game. It's going to happen. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's like race car. You know what I'm saying? NASCAR racing. You know what I'm saying? People gonna run into the um to the to the wall sometimes, and then things happen. You know, it's just part of the sport. We run at full speed, and you're 240, you're running a 44, and you collide with somebody. Things are going to happen. You know, so at the end of the day, I think they're going too far with these new helmet rules, and you can't leave with your helmet, and you can't do. I understand. We think about Ryan Shazier. What happened to him? You know, he lowered his head, and he had a hit with the crown of his. Helmet, which you should never do. But if you're, you know, if you're making a tackle and your face mask or that part hits the guy, that shouldn't be a flag, man. Or your chest, you know, you know, the video that I just showed, that was a textbook tackle. That was clean. You know what I'm saying? Fast motion, it was a hard hit, so the rest just throwing a flag automatically because you know that's what they're being trained to do. Hopefully it's a mistake. Hopefully they get this, you know, on point going to the season because this is gonna be really scary. How many games can you win or loss over plays that used to be clean hits that now may be called, you know, penalties? This is crazy, man. That's like watching NFL football right now is just, it's insane, man. You're like, you're watching, you're like, oh, good tackle, good tackle. Flag, what the hell? You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't even know what's a legal tackle, what's not a legal tackle anymore. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, like they're changing it, and then I don't even think they truly know because. The refs are just learning, so they're throwing the flags fast, you know. So hopefully they get this down going into the season because it's really getting on my nerves seeing them throw these flags on these, you know what I'm saying, solid tackles. The players have been learning proper tackling techniques, and they're, and they're trying to use them. And they're going to throw a flag on a guy that's, you know, doing their best to make the tackle. Like, it's so hard to play defense these days. Imagine, you know, you got to try to – catch the angle to make the tackle, then when you get to make the tackle, you got to think, okay, let me whip my head back, let me hit with my chest, let me lift up, and I can't slam them too hard on the ground as I go down, because I might call that too. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Man, it's hard to play defense these days. Defensive players need to get paid more money because it's an offensive game now, and they're trying to really just inflate these stats where it's not even a defense out there. People want to compare players these days to players back in the day, no, I'm sorry, they were hitting back then, you know what I'm saying, and, you know, there wasn't so much protection back then, you know, quarterbacks now, you can't touch them, they can play till they're 40, because they're not getting smacked like Joe Montana, Steve Young, and a lot of those guys were getting back in the day, you know what I'm saying, a lot of receivers can catch over the middle now and, and feel free and safe. Back in the day, Jerry Rice and Michael Irvin and T.O. were getting smacked or making people miss. Because, and you know, only a certain type of receiver was tough enough to catch those over the middle passes. These days, you can just dink and dunk and it's okay because they know they don't have to take that hit. And if they do take that hit, they know the ref has their back. So the game is changing and it is such a fantasy football league where we want those high stats and we want, you know, exciting football in a way. But is it that exciting without defense? You know, why do we, why don't we watch the Pro Bowl? Why the Pro Bowl? doesn't get the highest ratings. You know why? Because we know they're not playing defense. We know they're not tackling. Like the Pro Bowl is turning into regular football. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's turning into regular football. You guys let me know what you guys think. I'm getting frustrated and I'm tired of this man. Let them play. Let them play ball. Let them hit. Let them tackle. You know what I'm saying? Let them play ball. Let them cover. You know, it's hard enough to 
for a defensive player. I played offense at the same sense, but in the same sense, it gets frustrated, man. So come on, man. NFL, get it right. Let them play. I'm getting annoyed by this, man. Let them play ball. I'm out. SDMT.